downpours are not only making rivers rise, they're also creating a mess in North Shore basements. And many of you are probably dealing with the cleanup. 12 News' Brittany Shannon is live in Beansville. And Brittany, it is saturated up there. Well, the flood stage here in Fiendsville is currently at 11 feet. It usually sits right about at 6 feet on the Milwaukee River. Sections of the park here at the Fiendsville Park have been closed off. It's just too dangerous to get too close. You can see that water is just rushing a lot faster than usual. It's all because of the recent rains we've had. It's also causing a big mess for local homeowners. Really, it's my life's work. Thousands upon thousands of butterflies and moths saved from rising sewage water in Bob Barth's basement. First thing I thought, don't walk in this water. It's not healthy. You could electrocute yourself. They all say, do not do this, but I'm, I was not about to lose you know, years and years of work. Today, the Mequon resident is cleaning up the mess after five inches of sewage backed up into his basement Thursday. Everything downstairs was covered in a black film, and it was about as disgusting as you can get. Nearly every home in this Mequon neighborhood is underwater, but the bigger issue, bacteria. This is not your typical water loss. This was sewage backup, and um, it has a bacterial growth potential. The sewage water is considered the most difficult to clean up, a task Jeff says homeowners shouldn't take on themselves. You don't see this on a typical rain, a slow, steady rain. You wouldn't, you wouldn't typically see this, but when we get to quick downpour. It was a nightmare. But as the waters recede, this bad dream is coming to a close in this soggy neighborhood. Now that it's uh, getting cleaned up, I feel good. Restoration experts say that if you have water in your basement, get it taken care of immediately. It's unhealthy to have this type of water in particular left untreated in your home. For now, live in Thienesville, Brittany Shannon, WISN 12 News. Thank you, Brittany.